Hey guys, Aero Serato here for another playthrough. Um, I know I took like a really long hiatus, but you know, whatever. We'll pretend that didn't happen. So, I'm here today with another Odeme, um visual novel called Noctical. Um, it involves vampires, and um, I think there's, there's only two paths in this one, two uh, romance paths. Um, and the guys are here on the screen, as you can see. So, this will be a nice, quick, short one to get us back into things. Um, and let's just hit it. You have a choice to make, and not much time to make it, Miranda. Hurry and choose, or else we shall decide for you, which might be significantly less pleasant. How on earth did I get myself into this situation anyway? Bad karma? Or did I piss off some god, maybe? Hmm, I don't think I've done anything worth being stuck into this life or death situation over. I might be a little biased, but I think I led a pretty decent life before. Well, before all this. I guess there's no use worrying about why. Not like it changed anything. Come to think of it, I'm lucky to even be getting a choice. Not too long ago, these guys would have probably killed me if I sneezed too loud or something. What's important is how I got here. I need to choose carefully, so I should think it over a little. It all started two weeks ago. Oh crap! I got so into sightseeing that I completely lost track of time. I'd better use the GPS on my phone to help me get back to the hostel. Ah! My phone's out of battery. Jeez, what a time for my phone to be dead. I'm lost in the middle of the woods in the dark, all by myself. Sounds like the beginning of a very awful horror movie, starring yours truly. Good thing there's no wolves in this forest. I should be safe if I have to rough it for a night. Might be kind of chilly, though. Wait, is that... Huh, it looks like a building. I'll walk over to it and see if I can borrow a map or get directions or something if anybody's there. What? It's a castle. That's so weird. I don't remember seeing a castle on the map for this area at all. Maybe it was abandoned? And here I am, self-proclaimed expert on Belgium, and I didn't even know about a castle as big and grand looking as this one. Guess I need to hit the books some more when I get back. Weird. I don't recognize the architecture. Did I overlook... Blah! I just touched the door a little and it opened right up. I don't want to trespass, but it is getting darker. I wonder if anybody's home. Whoa. I take back what I said about the place being abandoned. It totally looks like someone's living here right now. This is so bizarre. A castle this big actually being used. How can I not remember reading about it? Hello? Is anyone here? I'm sorry for letting myself in, but I'm kind of lost and my phone's out of battery. No response. But there's lit candles out here. People wouldn't normally leave those unattended, would they? What if the whole place burns down? There's a huge portrait on the wall there. It looks pretty old. I wonder if it's an antique. I don't recognize the person in it, but I guess even I'd have trouble memorizing all the Belgistocrats. I always did have trouble with names. Places and culture are just way more interesting. Hello? Anybody home? Still nothing. Maybe they stepped out for a bit. You'd expect a huge place like this to have servants or something. Maybe a wise old butler to greet guests and fetch tea. Or at least the locked front door. Well, if they're not coming back for a little while, maybe I should take a look around. With any luck, they've got an outlet somewhere for me to charge my phone, and I can get out of here without being too much of a bother. I'll borrow one of these candlesticks then, just in case. You better not start talking to me in French or anything. And I'm lost. Again. Gosh, all these hallways look the same, and none of the unlocked rooms I've checked have had outlets. Wait a minute, I don't remember seeing any light switches either. Now that I think about it, it's just been candles everywhere. How old is this place? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Maybe I should just leave and take my chances with the good old outdoors. Whoa. What was that sound? It sounded like something dropping. I really should get out of here before I get into any trouble. Or maybe the owner of the place woke up after hearing me shuffle around and make a racket. Okay, I'll go check it out. Just a quick peek. The doors open a crack. Okay. Um. 
It takes me just half a second to clamp my hands over my mouth to muffle my scream, but that's half a second too slow. The bloody stranger locks eyes with me, and he doesn't look happy. This is not good. Not good. I run backwards into the hallway, so flustered that I ram into the wall. I don't hesitate. I've got to run. I get up off the ground and make a dash for it. I don't dare look back. I only hope I can find my way back to the foyer. Who? What was that? That was a woman he was holding, right? That's... I'm in such a rush that I don't even notice what's in front of me until I run right into it. I'm so sorry, I... Wait, who's this guy? There was someone else in this castle? What should I do? Um... No time to talk. Let's just book it. I can't afford to stop here. He might be friends with... with that other guy. I mean, he's even got this mean-looking expression on his face. Well, that might be because I ran into him. Whatever. I've got to get out of here. You're rather impudent, aren't you? How did you get in here? Fangs. Huge ones. Then that means... Where did... I feel a sharp pain on the back of my neck. Vampires. He gets. Lord Adrian's being careless again. Haven't the foggiest idea. Knows who get rid of number Hmm? What happened? That's right. I was running away from the van. Pyres. <laughs> um, good morning. Or good evening, maybe. I'm not really sure what time it is, but vampires are nocturnal, so I guess it's probably still nighttime? I don't know what's going on, but I'm in the company of two vampires and still alive. So far, so good. Don't mess us up, Miranda. She knows that we are vampires. I told you that already. Not that it'd be difficult for even a human with half a brain to reason things out, considering what she saw. Do you truly expect me to be constantly on guard against ugly human girls wandering into the castle and seeing things they ought not to? For the last time, I apologize for not noticing she was here. In any case, keeping outsiders away is supposed to be your job, Luca. Are they going to just keep squabbling? Maybe I should interrupt them, or just keep listening. Um, interrupting vampires who don't know the motives of is probably a bad idea, so let's just keep listening. It's probably safer for me not to say anything unless they ask me directly. That vampire with the red hair vanished and knocked me out in an instant. I don't know what else they're capable of if they get angry, and I don't really want to find out. While the rest of the family is away, it is up to both of us to keep the castle safe, my lord. The Palastra Noctigal is far too large for any one person to oversee alone. Family? So are they brothers or something? And he said, Palastra Noctigal. Nope, I've never heard of it. Well, it's a vampire castle after all. It's probably been kept secret for centuries or something. Lucky me, stumbling across it like this. Wait, does that mean that normally there's a whole bunch of players here aside from these two? Jeez, I don't even want to think about it. Alright, alright. Enough with your nagging, Luca. It hurts my noble ears. More importantly, what are we to do about this girl here? You there. Girl. What is your name and what is your business here? My name is Miranda Namatagira, sir. I'm here completely by accident. I got lost in the woods, and when I saw this building, I thought I might be able to rest for the night. I meant no disrespect. This place wasn't on any map I've seen, so I thought it was abandoned. I'm very sorry for intruding. Ha! Huh. And you thought she was some sort of spy or vampire hunter, Luca. I did not. I stated that the possibility existed, that's all. It's better to be safe than sorry. I still think it would be best if we killed her. She's already seen too much. You've never had a meal like her before, have you, my lord? Indeed. I have never had one so dark. I'm not sure that such a thing would be palatable. Face not, want not. A couple of regular gentlemen, these two. In any case, you know as well as I do that we cannot kill her. I don't possess the authority to kill anyone while the rest of the family's away. So that woman I saw him, uh, feeding on earlier must still be alive. I wonder what happened to her. We shall just have to keep her around until they return on the 22nd. Then they can figure out what to do with her. I don't believe humans make good pets, sir. 
Nonsense. I'm sure we shall have her house broken in no time. You say that now, but I highly suspect that I shall be the one having to feed her and take care of her. Please take some responsibility, my lord. Am I a dog or something? In any case, I'm still not entirely convinced she's being truthful. Tell me, human, what were you doing in the forest in the first place? I study Belgian history and culture at my university. I traveled here to Belgium while on holiday to study everything up close. I was hiking near this area and got so into taking notes and seeing the sights that I lost track of time. It became too dark to see where I was, and my cell phone ran out of battery, so I couldn't get help. Cell phone? Cellular phone, sir. It's a portable telephone. Ah, I see. Well, clever lot, humans. What will they come up with next? How come one of them knows what a cell phone is and the other one doesn't? He must not get out much. Still, I didn't expect to hear them say something positive about humans. Luca, I do not sense that she is lying. I believe she truly is here by chance. It was simply her bad fortune to end up here, then. That's exactly what I want to say. You said you came here on holiday? Did you come alone? I should bluff or tell the truth? Well, he already mentioned that he can tell when somebody's lying, so bluffing will do no good. Let's tell the truth. Maybe they'll be more forgiving if I keep being honest. I don't think I'm that good at lying anyway. Yeah, I came here alone. A young woman traveling to an unfamiliar land unchaperoned? Rather reckless, is it not? It's common nowadays to travel unaccompanied, my lord. Oh? Interesting. Things have certainly changed in the last century or two. A young woman on her alone. Fancy that. Well, we cannot kill her, and we certainly cannot let her go, either, since she now knows of this castle's existence. She'll simply have to stay, and await further judgment. That is my last word on the matter. Please try your best to be amusing, human, for there is nothing I hate more than a boy. Luca, show her to one of the empty rooms, will you? Yes, my lord. Follow me, human. So I'm being kept alive. For now. Thank you, sir. My lord's name is Adrian von de Noctegal, Count de Merci Augenpol de Ochain. Mouthful. You do well to remember it, human. Adrian van de... what? Oh no, I'm really crappy with names. Just Adrian will do. I have no taste for formalities. Lord Adrian. Fine, fine. Call me that then if you must. Okay then, thanks, Lord Adrian. My lord may have shown you mercy in allowing you to stay here alive, but make no mistake, I do not approve of your presence here. I get it. You just want to protect your secrets. Like you said, it was just my bad luck I ended up here. Well, if possible, I'd really like to not die. <laughs> ah. What is it? You seem to be taking all this in stride. Surprisingly so. Does it not scare you that vampires exist, or that we might kill you? Well, sure it does, but if I screamed or cried about it, would you let me go? No. Then there's no point in being afraid, yeah? Besides, I think it's pretty awesome that vampires exist. I've seen lots of them in movies and stuff, but the real thing is really different, huh? I guess it'd be cooler if my life wasn't at risk, though. I guess the conversation's over. Hmm. He's not as mean as I first thought. Well, he ain't exactly sunshine and daisies either, but at least I can talk to him, kind of. Here's your room. Uh, okay. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings at all. Am I going to be able to find my way to and from here? Actually, are they even going to let me have my room? Or leave my room? I am a prisoner, technically. Well, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Wow. This room is gorgeous. Totally doesn't look like the kind of room you'd give to a hostage at all. The bed is huge. Ooh. Now I'll leave you to get settled in, for I have business to attend to. Uh, wait. Please. What is it? I'm sorry to keep you, but am I allowed to leave my room? I see that there's no bathroom for me. You may leave and enter the room as you please, and wander as you please, so long as you don't try to escape the castle. If you dare abuse my lord's trust, the consequences will be dire. He's gone. Wow. After all that, in the end it was kind of anticlimactic. Rummaging through my backpack, doesn't look like they confiscated confiscated anything. 
Not that there's much to confiscate. Just my notebook, textbooks, phone, wallet, and some pencils. Guess I'll just put these in that chest next to the bed. Gosh, I feel so drained. A lot of stuff happened tonight. That Adrian guy said the rest of his family would be back on the 22nd, right? That means I'm going to be stuck here for two whole weeks. Well, there's no point moping about it. I'll go find a bathroom so I can wash up before bed. Whoa. Did you need something? I thought he said he had something to do. Gosh, it looks like any escape attempt would be a one-way ticket to death for sure. Um, the bathroom? He just pointed and then vanished. Well, at least he told me where it is. I'm glad it's close to my room. This way I won't get lost. I'll just remember that it's next to this bus statue thing. I'll call it Steve. And now bath time. See you later, Steve. Up. Oh, wake up, human. I told you to get settled in, not go to sleep. So what do you think you're doing? Sleeping? Did you forget that you're living in a vampire castle? Of course not. I had thought that this would be common sense, but we vampires are nocturnal. If you're going to be living here for two weeks, you will have to adapt to our lifestyle. But... Is that discontent I hear in your voice? Nope. No, sir. Hmm. In any case, my lord Adrian would like to see you. He is bored and in need of entertainment. This should also be common sense, but your life expectancy is positively correlated to how entertaining my lord finds you. Um, uh, roger that. There you are. My apologies, sir. The human was asleep. But it's night- Ah, I remember. Humans normally sleep at night, don't they? Well, you had better get used to sleeping during the day. The sooner the better. I'll try. God, I'm so tired. I do not know what you've heard about vampires, but you'd best not underestimate us. And do not bother attempting garlic or crosses. They only make me angry. It's not like I regularly carry garlic around anyway. I really have no choice but to stay here. I get it. Good. I am glad that you understand. So... Welcome to the Palaster Noctigal, otherwise known as Noctigal Castle. Normally there are ten of us here, but the rest of them are away at present. Oh, I remember you saying that before. Where did they go, anyway? It is not your business to know. Right. Sorry. Yikes. I've got to be careful. Just because he's friendly most of the time doesn't mean he won't slice me open if I push his buttons too much. These guys are vampires. What's up? I mean, what is it? Those clothes that you're wearing. I wasn't paying any mind to them before, so I did not notice sooner, but they really are quite garish, are they not? Huh? Luca, find her something better to wear and have her change immediately. Yes, sir. Wait, what? Hold on, can I just keep... No, confiscate. Then could you at least leave the room while I'm changing? Denied. What was that? Nothing, sir. Much better. Now you actually look like a woman. Rude. Well, thanks. Jeez, I can barely breathe in this getup. It's so uncomfortable. Now I get it. Luca didn't stay in there because he wanted to ogle me. It takes two to get this thing on. And he took my clothes and put them away somewhere. Even my necklace. Wait, don't tell me you took it away so my neck would be easier to access. For a while there, you've been making a great many amusing facial expressions in rapid succession, you know. Crap. I completely forgot they were there. Well, I didn't forget, but whatever. He looks pretty entertained, so I guess it's okay. Let me guess. You were thinking about what we were going to do to you. Well, it is natural for you to worry about that. Of course. We vampires feed on humans, after all. The atmosphere around him changed all of a sudden. Don't tell me he's really going to suck my blood right here, right now. Did you forget that you're in a vampire castle? How careless of you. Luca said the same thing earlier. Of course I didn't. I just... Damn. I let my guard down because they were being a little nice to me and they weren't what I expected. I know they're vampires, but this is still really sudden. My, my stomach rumbled. That was really loud, too. What was that sound? 
I believe it was her stomach growling. It means she's hungry. Is that true, human? Huh? Um, uh, yeah. I haven't had anything to eat since yesterday morning. So much happened that I just forgot to eat, I guess. I see. What do humans eat anyway? I recall that they mainly eat animal meat and vegetables, sir. That sounds dreadful. More like normal. Well, neither she nor I can leave the castle, so you shall have to go out and get food for her to eat. Hmm? Nor I. Why can't Adrian leave? Doesn't his family own the place? You. Human. Uh, yes. Draw up a list of things you want to eat, and Luca will fetch them for you. We cannot have you starving, or else your blood will taste awful. Also, humans can die of starvation. Right, that too. We cannot have that. Oh, okay. So my life is just an afterthought? Well, you're far from being my type when it comes in that I prefer to drink blood from. But at the same time, I am curious for that very reason. As Luca said, I never have had one like you before. So stay healthy. I'll do my best. That's a good girl. I spend the next hour or so writing up a list of food I want to eat. Adrian tells me that they'll spare no expense, so I shouldn't hold back. I wonder if they know what Vogue are. I don't see any light shining through the curtains. Wow, I slept through the daylight. Those two made me stay awake for my entire second day here. At the crack of dawn today, I just about passed out. Come to think of it, it's kind of like how I got over my jet lag when I came to Belgium. If you take naps, it just makes it harder to adjust. Hmm. I came around the night of the 8th, so I'm guessing it's the 10th now, unless I pulled a Rip Van Winkle or something. It's going to be hard to keep track of time without any clocks to count. Guess you don't really need those when you're immortal. But I'm not, so I'll keep a record in this notebook of what day it is. Eleven days left. There goes the rest of my holiday. I wonder what will happen if my visa runs out while I'm here. I can't exactly be deported out of the country if I'm busy being held prisoners by vampires, though. I've been sleeping so long that my limbs feel all heavy. I really need to stretch them out. Wait, it might be hard to do that in this dress. Well, I guess it's time to do some exploring. Walking around will make me feel less groggy. Thank you.